Hey guys, it's Melanie. Today I have a worth the splurge for you and it is of a skincare product that I have been testing for the last, I think it's been about six or seven weeks. I feel like I have a really good grasp on what this product has done for my skin. It is a spendy one. We are going to be talking about the Murad Night Fix Enzyme Treatment, which you can find in a few places, Sephora being one of them, which is where I bought mine from. Um, you can also find Murad products, obviously, on the Murad website. Um, I think Ulta carries this as well. I'll try to link it down below in the description box in a few different places. So if you're interested in picking it up, that way you'll know where to find it. All right, so $70 for one fluid ounce of product. Um, packaging on this, very nice, obviously completely sealed. It is one of those little um, pumps that has the little thing up here. You just push it down. Um, there's no way to lock this, but um, I did travel with this earlier this month and it certainly didn't spill out or anything like that. I just popped it into my travel bag and it was fine. Also, uh, in a, wow, I can't believe it didn't fall and shatter <laughs> into a million pieces. Um, I did drop this on my bathroom floor. You can see that little nick out of that acrylic down here. Um, I fully expected this whole thing to just be like, like just shatter because we have a tile floor and that has happened to me in the past with packaging like this, but this uh, held together perfectly. Um, I was really sad <laughs> when it was on its way down and I was like, no. Um, but yeah, no, it just, it's been going strong. So $70 again for one fluid ounce. So let's talk about it. Okay, so I am going to read you guys just a few things from the Sephora website because I am not good at memorizing these blurbs, so bear with me. Um, so this is an overnight treatment that combats the signs of sleep deprivation, including lines, wrinkles, dryness, and a lack of radiance. They do say that this is good for basically all skin types, so whether you are normal, dry, combination, or oily. I am coming at this from the extremely oily end of the skin issue <laughs> spectrum. Um, I am... 41 next month. So I do have aging concerns and um, I like products that help with surface cell turnover. Because of my oily skin, I am very prone to clogged pores in the form of sebaceous filaments, blackheads, not usually pimples, um, but I can get them from time to time. So I try to do a really good job of keeping my skin exfoliated. So um, those are my skin issues. I was hoping this would help to maintain the really great progress that I've made so far with my skincare in the last like five, six years. And um, spoiler, it's a good product. <laughs> so um, again, the skincare concerns that this is supposed to target is fine lines, dryness, uneven skin tone, dullness, just textural issues in general. So the highlighted ingredients in here are chronopeptide, which is an anti-aging peptide that supposedly syncs with the body's circadian rhythm and supports natural repair for renewed skin vibrancy. There is a what they call a tri-enzyme technology in here. So three encaps encapsulated enzymes um, purified from red and green microalgae provide potent antioxidant protection and detoxification to reduce the visible signs of premature aging, loss of elasticity, those fine lines, wrinkles. Sorry, the sun just came out. It's getting bright again. <laughs> um, and then the one thing that I didn't think was entirely necessary in here is they do say that they have this patent pending aroma technology. So um, they call this functional... Uh, <laughs> Functional fragrance um, shown in cl clinical trials to enhance sleep quality uh, marries the science of sleep with the power of scent. So all Murad products are free of SLS, SLES, parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde releasing agents, phthalates, mineral oil, oxybenzone, coal tar, hydroquinone, triclosan, tri, um, carbon, um, obviously cruelty free. They are actually vegan and uh, also gluten free. So there's, there's a little bit of in-depth information for you guys. 
Um, this is meant to be a nighttime treatment, so that is how I've been using it, is nighttime. Um, I will show you guys the texture of this product. It has a really lightweight kind of serum lotion-like texture. So this kind of goes in the middle of my skincare routine. So after any essences that I put on and then uh, before moisturizers or oils, if that makes sense. It absorbs very quickly into the skin. Um, you can see here that little bit, by the way, covered like my entire uh, top of my hand and then some. Um, like I said, I've been using this for several weeks, at least six or seven. Um, I really like this product, you guys. I do think it is worth splurging on if you're in the market for something like this or you've been interested in it. Um, I can tell you that it has definitely helped to keep my skin hydrated. It has helped with surface cell turnover. Um, it certainly helps to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles um, in terms of providing that intense hydration to the skin, which plumps the skin up, thus lessening the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Um, I think anytime that you are hydrating your skin really well, keeping it exfoliated, it's going to make it look younger and it is going to give you a much more youthful appearance, which is kind of what I expect my skincare to do. Um, I certainly do a good job of slathering this all over my face. I mean, it goes everywhere. I have not been using it on my neck or my decollete. One, because it's a little bit more spendy, and two, there are some other products that I'm using during the night on this area, so I kind of try to have different products for different areas. Sometimes, however, I will use everything from here to here. Um, just kind of depends on what the product is. But this I've been exclusively using on my face. I think that I've had some really nice results from it. Do I think it's a must try? I think it's a really nice product, but if you don't have the budget for it, I'm sure that you can find something less expensive that will give you similar results um, in terms of hydration and surface cell turnover. Um, I really do like Murad products. I The formulations tend to work very well with my oily skin type. Um, I think that I see very good results. Do I see myself repurchasing this the second that I finish it? Probably not immediately. I think that um, by the time that I'm done with this, I will be ready to move on and try something else in its place. Um, I don't know what that thing is quite yet, <laughs> but I do think this is a really great formulation. I see myself definitely repurchasing it at some point in the future, um, but because of my YouTube channel, I tend to want to try new things once I finish something, but I very much intend on finishing this um, possibly even before the end of the year, or it might be kind of towards the beginning of the new year coming up. I think it's a great product. Um, if you have the budget for it, I do think it's worth splurging on. Um, it would be nice to maybe wait for the November Rouge VIB sale if you would like to get it on a little bit of a discount at least. Um, at $70, it is definitely a hit to the old wallet. I thought it was personally worth it, um, but if you can get 20% off on it, I would do that. I think when you sign up for a lot of uh, like um, companies like email lists, I'm, I'm sure Murad does this, although don't quote me on it. Um, a lot of times they'll give you like 15% off your first purchase or 20% off your first purchase. So I don't know if that's available through the Murad website, but I will look it up and I'll let you know down below in the description box. Um, overall, I'm really glad that I bought this. I'm going to continue to use it. I like what I'm seeing so far. Um, right now I have put this aside for the time being because there's some other things that I'm testing out that um, do roughly similar things. So other exfoliants that I'm testing right now, but I will go back to this probably starting um, mid-November once I'm done with the testing phase of the other products. But yeah, overall, this one does get two thumbs up from me. I enjoyed the product. I would definitely recommend picking it up. Like I said, if you can, um, if you can uh, splurge on it. What I will say though is if you don't like fragrance in your product, that is the one thing here that I don't think is entirely necessary. 
they do say that cupping your hands over your nose and taking three deep breaths will help to maybe relax you at night and help you go to sleep. In terms of the fragrance that they do have in here, it's nice. It's not overpowering. I don't think it's necessary in the product. And if you're a fragrance phobe or fragrance sensitive, don't get this because it does have a scent. But it seems to fade very quickly. It's not like I'm laying there in bed at night and I'm smelling this slightly floral scent all night long. It dissipates very quickly. So I don't know. I like it, but I'm not totally averse to fragrance and skincare. I know it's a big no-no. I'm aware. But for me, I think if it's done well and if it's not overpowering, I don't have an issue with it because it doesn't typically irritate my skin personally. But if you have issues with that, that is something to watch out for with this product. So that's my one warning to you. Otherwise, two thumbs up. Give it a whirl. Let me know if you have tried the Murad Night Fix Enzyme Treatment and what your thoughts are below in the comments. I always look forward to your guys' feedback as well. Definitely go read up other people's reviews on the Sephora website. The reviews are good, you guys. I mean, it almost has five stars. Like, the reviews are definitely overwhelmingly positive on this one. So, I don't know. Go see what other people have to say. And thank you guys so much for taking time to watch. Uh, please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.